Okay, so we're going to look at lesson seven. This is the lesson that's found if you look in the Google Drive under week five. This is lesson seven. And I'm going to take you through Monday, which is our first day. On this, the first thing you see when you open up lesson seven under week five is you see unit two moon phases. Let's go to the second slide and let's take a look at this. Monday, which is today, we're going to look at the two topics we're going to talk about for today. How big is the moon compared to Earth? And how far away is the moon from Earth? Two things we're going to look at today. How big is the moon compared to Earth? And how far away is the moon from Earth? Let's take a look at this. Go to slide number three on your slide. By the end of today, our learning target is that you can describe the size of the Earth compared to the moon and create a scale model of the size and the distance. That's going to be pretty cool by the end of this, and I think you're going to be there. Check out slide number four. The size of the moon versus the size of the Earth. If I was to look at the size of the Earth and the Moon on Google, Google tells me right here that the diameter of the Moon is 2,158.8 miles. Remember the diameter is just from one side of the Moon to the other. It's kind of like the diameter of your head from ear to ear, right between the middle of your head. What's the diameter? That's how wide the Moon is. What about the Earth? The Earth is an even bigger number. Oh, so the Earth is bigger. In fact, if you were to look at this thing, you could say that the Earth is darn close to 8,000 mile, miles wide. Close to 8,000. It's 7,917. That's close to 8,000 miles wide. The moon is close to 2,000 miles wide. 8 divided by 2 means we can fit 4 moons across the earth. Just about four moons could fit right across the width of the earth. Interesting. Let's go to five. How could we describe the size of the moon? I want you to scroll down to slide 42. There's three images there. Click on the first image. It's the one with the United States covering the moon. A bunch of little blue boxes are going to appear. Hold down control on the bottom left of your keyboard and tap X, and that image will go away. Then go back up to the slide we were on, which is slide five. Click on it, hold down control on the bottom left of your keyboard, and tap V. And you'll see that picture appear. Check this out. How could we describe the size of the moon? The United States could fit across the width or diameter of the moon. Yep, the United States could fit across the width of the moon. And you can see it on there. If we were to lay the U.S. right across the moon, it would be about the same size. So the next time you're looking at a world map and you see the U.S., remember that that's how big the moon is compared to our world. Interesting. Okay, let's go on to number six. How could we describe the size of the moon compared to Earth? Very good question. Let's go back down to slide number 42. Click on image two so those blue boxes appear. Hold down control. Tap X, it'll disappear. Scroll back up to number six. Click on slide six, hold down control, the bottom left of your keyboard, tap V, and that picture will appear. Now it's not right as far as the distance. The moon is not close to the earth like that. But what we can say is this. We could fit four moons across the width or diameter of the earth. 
we could fit four moons across the diameter of the Earth. Interesting. Hmm. Click on number seven. Here's a short video. <laughs> One of the questions we're looking at is, how big is the Earth compared to the moon? Now, if somebody in your house, maybe a first grader, little brother or sister, or cousin, or maybe even grandma and grandpa, asked you that question, and you're thinking, I don't know, how would I explain this to them? Here's a great way. If we were to take the Earth and shrink it down to the size of a basketball, this is something that we have in our house. This is something to grab and say, oh, let me explain this to you. If this was the size of the Earth to scale, I wonder how big the moon would be in comparison. Let's take a look. All right, so if this was the size of Earth, remember what we talked about. Four moons can fit across Earth, okay? So what we have to find is what object can we fit four of across this basketball? Okay, because remember, we scaled the Earth down to this size. And what I have here is a tennis ball. Okay, if we look at this, we can fit about four tennis balls across this basketball, just like that. And remember, we talked about four moons fitting across Earth. So if we shrunk Earth down to the size of a basketball, we could use a tennis ball to represent the scale size of the moon. Okay, so our learning target is I can create a scale model of the moon compared to the Earth. So what if, Mr. Wagner, I gave you a basketball? All right, so what if this was the size of Earth? Again, four tennis balls would fit across this basketball if we scale this down to Earth. Well, Mr. Jensen, what if I gave you this dodgeball? Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Wagner. Oh, you know what? Actually, a tennis ball wouldn't be too big. Don't you mean a ping pong ball, Mr. Jensen? A tennis ball would be too big. So a ping pong ball would be just the right size compared to a dodgeball. That would be a good scale model. But what if Mr. Jensen ordered Amazon ping pong balls, didn't look at the dimensions, and the ping pong balls he ordered came in this size? Oh, Mr. Jensen, details. Descriptions. So if this was the size of the moon, what would fit this? How about a shrunken down globe? From the dollar store. From the dollar store. That's a good point. Four of these little tiny ping pong balls true. fit across our Earth. Huh. Just like that. Okay. Or, next time you're in a highly sophisticated place with a globe, and somebody wants you to say, how big is the moon compared to that normal sized globe? One of the things you could show them is a foam ball from Hobby Lobby. That's a Hobby great Lobby. example. You can fit four of those across. It's one fourth the size. And interestingly enough, look at the United States. It's almost the size the United States could cover the moon. So that gives us a perspective right there that what it means is a basketball and a tennis ball are a good scale model of the size of Earth and the moon. Slide number eight says, well, what about distance now, Mr. Jensen? I kind of understand the size better, but what about the distance? If we were to ask Google what the distance would be, Google gives us a number rounded to about here. The distance would be 238,900 miles. Holy cow. In fact, we said a fact, I think it was maybe a week ago, if you were to start today walking to the moon without stopping, it would take you about nine years. Way out there. 238,000. Now remember, the diameter of the earth these are just in the thousands, not 10,000s, not 100,000s, just 2,000 and 7,900. But the actual distance is in the hundreds of thousands. So that means it's a lot larger number, which means it's pretty far out there. 
Well, how far? Go to slide number nine and check this out right here. How can we describe the distance from the Earth to the moon? We can say the moon is 30 Earths away from Earth. What does that mean? 30 Earths away? That means we can fit 30 Earths between the Earth and the moon. If we go back down to slide number 42 and we clip out that image number three, we can place that back into this picture right here and show that exact thing with a picture. Here's the earth on the left. Here's the moon on the right. One through 30 means 30 earths could fit between the earth and the moon. Huh. Well, can we describe the distance to the earth and the moon in a different way? Sure can. Go back down to 43. Grab that image on the left. Cut it. Let's paste this up here as well. We can actually paste this in and we find out that all the planets in our solar system can fit right between the earth and the moon. You can fit Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. You could even squeeze Pluto in there. All of our planets side by side could fit between the Earth and the Moon. That's a pretty cool fact. Let's take a look at a video again and see this description. Now let's talk about... All right, so we've already talked about size. If we took the giant earth and shrunk it down to this basketball, so the earth was the size of this basketball, how, if we remember, how big was our moon? What about the size of a tennis ball? That is perfect. If we look, four tennis balls will fit across our basketball. We've talked about size, but what about distance? If we kept this the size of Earth, how far away would the tennis ball be? All right, so when we're talking about distance, we know our big Earth and the moon, we can fit 30 Earths in between our Earth and the moon. So we shrunk our Earth down to a basketball and the moon to a tennis ball. We have to fit 30 basketballs in between our Earth and the moon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two Earth size, which is a basketball, and we're going to rotate these one after another and count 30 of them from this basketball out to where the tennis ball would be. So I'm going to stick this one in and count it as one. Mr. Harney's going to count his as two. I'm going to count mine as three, four, five. <laughs> Fabulous, Mr. Jensen. That is absolutely fabulous, Mr. Wagner. Mr. Harding, you are the most intelligent teachers in all of Westwood Science 8th grade. Okay, if we were to go back to that same old model of the basketball, interestingly enough, the distance would be at this scale from the baseline of a basketball court to the three-point line. The Earth and the Moon if represented by a basketball and a tennis ball, would have a distance of a three-point shot. That's pretty cool. So what if we changed our scale and changed the moon to the size of the basketball? That means we would have to change the Earth to something bigger. But what could work for that? Hey, Mr. Hardy, I got something. Oh, maybe a happy half. Thanks, Mr. Wagner. Okay, if this was the size of Earth now in our scale, we take the basketball and we extend the size to a hoppy hop. Well, then the distance would actually increase as well and get farther away. In fact, Mr. Harney, where are you? At the other three-point line. Whoa. Whoa! So what you can see then is that distance is pretty far away. 
probably farther than you think. Most of the models we see that show us the distance aren't correct because it's kind of hard to make models when it's that far apart. But 30 Earths can fit between the Earth and the moon. Our next question is, how could you describe the size of the moon to a second grader? Well, that's a pretty good question. You could show them a basketball and a tennis ball. The b-ball would be earth. The tennis ball would be the moon. Huh. Well, how could you describe to the same second grader the size of the earth compared to the moon? Well, we did that once. But another thing we could do is you could fit four Earths into the width of the, wait a second, Mr. Jensen. You could fit four moons into the width of the Earth. Yep. The moons, four side by side, could fit across the width of the earth. Well, what about this one? Two ways you could describe the distance. The first way is 30 earths fit between the earth and the moon. Okay, what's another way? All the planets could fit between the earth and the moon. That is pretty cool, Mr. Jensen. Once again, four moons can fit the width or diameter of the Earth. 30 Earths could fit between the Earth and the moon for distance. Well, what I'd like you to do is take a picture of a model that you create at your house. Look around your house. Maybe it's a pickle jar lid and maybe it's a nickel. That's a good comparison. You can fit four nickels across a pickle jar lid. Maybe you use those to explain your model. And then I want you to set it up so that I can see the distance accurate to that model. And then take a picture. Now you don't have to use a pickle jar and you don't have to use a nickel. You can use anything you want that's in your house to show me a model. Take a picture to show the size and distance to scale of the earth and the moon. Good luck.